Okay, today I'm going to show you how to diagnose um, a bad head gasket. Most of the times it's a head gasket, or it could be a cracked head, cracked block, but on the newer cars today, it's usually, it all depends how, how bad the car has been overheated, if it's been overheated. Uh, it's usually a blown head gasket. Um, now, the first thing is you would check, um, well, telltale signs is that your, your cooling gauge is going very high. This, this particular car doesn't have a cooling gauge. Why they did without them, I don't know. Um, but maybe that's the reason why the, the, it blew. The owner of this car didn't see no cooling gauge. All you see is an idiot light that goes on to tell you that you need coolant, and it's too late usually by then. Anyway, um, the car runs hot or a car just, you know, you're on the highway and it just dies. All right, usually most cars have cooling gauges. If the cooling gauge starts going past the middle, uh, that's a sign that something's wrong. I mean, if it's, the, if it's in the middle of the summer and you have the AC on, yeah, the cooling gauge can go a little bit past, past the middle, that's normal. But if you go towards the red, or if you didn't notice it and, and it's already in the red and the car is smoking and it dies, that, that's a bad problem. But anyhow, okay, let's assume that that happened. Now you want to check to see you know, a couple of simple checks to see if you have a bad head gasket. What you do, number one, you would take the dipstick out, because a lot of times if the head gasket blows, the oil mixes with the coolant. You would take the dipstick out, and you would check. On this car, this car has a blown head gasket, but right, the oil is not mixed. This is normal oil. There's no, you would see like a milkshake color, look, a chocolate milkshake color. All right, we don't see nothing on a dipstick of that. Another telltale sign if there's water in the oil is that it'll be overfilled a lot. This car did not mix with the oil with the water or vice versa in, in, the, in the overflow tank or in your radiator, you would see oil residue or again, the chocolate milkshake will be in there. This car, uh, again, is clean. It doesn't appear to be... Um, anything mixed with the oil. What happened with this car, I didn't take it apart yet, but but working 35 years on cars, what probably happens is that um, the coolant is going in the combustion chamber and blowing it, you know, and burning up and, and going out the exhaust. I'm gonna show you that in a minute, all right? So uh, a couple of telltale signs is you have oil in the coolant, coolant, you know, oil residue in the coolant, that's not good, or if you have oil in the water like a chocolate milkshake or your, your oil level is excessively high like way high that's two signs that water's mixing with oil that you got a blown head gasket like I said it could be a cracked head it could be a cracked cylinder block but most times the weak point is the cylinder head gasket Okay, so you saw that smoke. That excessive white smoke is not normal. When you first start a car, don't confuse it with when you first start a car up in the morning, you'll see a little bit of light smoke. That's condensate, that's normal. That is obviously burning. Uh, coolant is burning with the combustion. It, that, it's, that's just exactly what happened. All right, the car, I, I couldn't even keep it running because it's probably dumping water in one, one or more cylinders. And um, basically, you have your three things. You have the oil mixing with the water, the oil mixing with the coolant, or both of those are fine. And if you notice, the cool, there's no coolant in here. Why is there no coolant in here? Is because it's it's it, 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 it's leaking through the head gasket, and uh, it's getting burnt in the cylinders where it's not supposed. Instead of cooling the cylinders around the cylinder walls, it's getting burnt in the combustion chamber, and that's why the car is running rough and hard to start, and all bad things. All right. So that's basically a couple of easy, easy ways uh, to diagnose a head gasket problem. It's not the only problem, but um, the only ways, but you know, based on you know, people watching this video, it's pretty much you know, an easy way to diagnose it yourself. All right, this is Motor Car Nut 2020, and I would appreciate you guys you know, giving me a subscribe, giving me a like. I'm gonna have many, many videos in the future. It's only gonna keep growing the channel with very valuable information. All right, guys, take it easy.